There's our 16 engine rocket. Yes. No. Okay, thanks for watching that rocket video, and I highly recommend not to build these kind of rockets, but if you do, make sure that you are certified to build these bigger rockets, and that you have a good hiding spot to uh, protect yourself when these things go wrong. So having said that, this is how I build these things. Um, so as you can see, I use a C60 rocket engine and a D120 rocket engine for uh, zero delay and ejection charges so that these rockets will ignite each other instantaneously. There's no delay. Um, another thing do, I do too is that uh, I use delta shaped wings and you'll probably notice that in one of my rocket videos I use triangular wings but those are not good. You want to use some sort of delta or trapezoidal form. Um, another thing too is that I use school glue to attach these rocket engines to each other so what I'll do is I'll go one one spot here, one spot here, just little spots, and then I'll that's how I attach them. Like I'll show you one, two, three, four, and that's all I do to attach the next set. I don't use any more glue than that. I don't use hot glue or Loctite, and I don't glue the whole engine because they won't work if you do that. And you also notice that I use the dowel inset between the C engines. Now that's a really good idea because you can interlock the uh, C engines together and you really do not have to glue them. They will work fine with that. Okay, so you're probably asking, well, how do I connect the body to the rocket engines? Well, there's a particular way to do this too. And uh, this body of the rocket here, this is probably about five feet long and I used a longer one. So the weight ratio is near the middle of the rocket. You don't want it to be too low or even too high. So what I did here is I drilled a hole in the dowel and then this will go on top of here later. But I'll put that on when the glue is all settled in those rocket engines. And for the parachute, um, I got a bigger nose cone and what I'll do is I'll just put this on top of the cluster rockets and I'll cut out the hole so the dowel can go in the middle and then the parachute would be contained in there. And for what I use to retrieve the rockets, there's a special uh, thing for that too, and I use a locator, and that's a beacon locating thing. So this will work quite a ways away. I've always found my rockets through these, and I use two of them just to offset the balance on both sides of the body. So I'll put one here and one on the other side, and then I'll use um, these 720p cameras, they're keychain cameras. Um, these are relatively cheap, so I don't really care if they break or not, and I'll put one on each side too. And I'll usually just duct tape it. I know people say, oh, you got to make it more aerodynamic and whatever, but you know what? I've never had any problems just doing it, duct taping and, you know, just weight balancing them on both sides. Uh, it worked just fine. Okay, so one of the most important safety aspects of this video is actually how you're igniting the rockets. So. Let's say you have this igniter here. This is a typical igniter what you'll use. Now if you use four of these in series or parallel, they will not work with those Estes controllers or Apogee or whatever. They, those controllers are cheap. They don't have enough voltage to ignite all the engines. So it can be really dangerous if you're trying to ignite three out of the four engines because the rocket will just tilt and probably go towards you. Um, not, not a good thing. So. What I built here is a ignition system. I just got this button push igniter and I hooked it up to a three cell LiPo connection. So I, I hook it up to a three cell LiPo. So that's all it is. Uh, really simple. 
Um, but it's uh, a lot more safe and I've tried this with uh, six igniters and it worked no problem so that's what you want to do and I have a 20 foot cord here so you know I got uh, plenty of distance away from this uh, dangerous rocket that I built and uh, just alligator clips and that's all I use. Um, I also hide behind a big rock when I build these crazy things so that's a good idea too. get a good hiding spot before you build anything crazy. Okay so that's pretty much it for this video.